Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're here this morning to take a quick look at a brand new 2019 Duckworth 26 Offshore. We're getting ready to deliver this boat in a few minutes uh, to a customer, and we just wanted to show you some of the things on this boat uh, so you could kind of see how this particular one went together. Uh, in case you're thinking about doing one of these boats in the future, it kind of gives you some ideas of, of maybe things to think about. So on the front of this boat, we have a windlass. Uh, it's gonna be on this boat here. Uh, this is a real popular option and it has been for a number of years is these rub rails. So they're they're unpainted um, They're really durable. So in case you pull up against the side of a dock the chances of scratching the boat are a lot less And then he did a black metallic and it's hard to tell in this video, but it looks really really sharp uh, Walking around on the outside here uh, We're gonna get up in the boat in another part of this video and we'll show you what the inside looks like He did do a bathroom on this uh, we did twin Yamaha 150s with stainless props and boat runs great. You'll see a little cut of a video where the boat drives by so you can see that. Um, just a single transducer on this. He did a Lowrance system on this boat. And then on the kicker setup, we'll have a full remote kicker here, 9.9. Uh, uh, and these motors are all steered at slow speeds with the Lowrance Outboard Pilot, which is a really cool system, works great. We have it on a number of boats. So instead of a regular TR1 autopilot that's just steering the kicker motor, the Lowrance Outboard Pilot is steering basically all three motors so you have a much more effective rudder. I uh, won't be able to unfortunately get a video of that today for you, but it's very effective. If you guys are ever interested in checking that out, we'll actually have you come out and take a ride to the boat with us so you can see that. So we're gonna walk around the outside of this, just take a quick look, and then we'll hop inside. Okay, so we're inside the 26 Offshore now, and we're gonna just do a quick rock around to see how this boat turned out. Apologize this morning, uh, we got a real bright sun, so some of the video may not be the best, but at least you get an idea of what this boat looks like on the inside when it's all finished. So in the back area here, um, the factory's got grab handles, as well as a net holder and rod holders on this boat. He could have done an optional uh, rod holders across the top rocket launchers, but he didn't do that. It's got a sliding pocket door that locks. Really straightforward, real nice setup there. Full drain system in the back. So you've got kind of an elevated deck and then it's a tray down here. So all the water's gonna run back to the back of the boat and out. Um, we installed a couple of downriggers that he supplied to us, a couple of Scotty 1106s. We got the ports flush mounted right there. This particular boat's got a pull out, pull out wash down. And then cabinets in the back. Uh, two kind of uh, steps that fold down and up. And then he did a rear steer station on this. And so with this setup here, he has full control of the kicker motor as well as, you can see if I steer this wheel, control of all three. When I steer one, all three steer, and it works really, really well for maneuverability. So when he's out here trolling, he can run the kicker motor. And this is all obviously too tied to the Lowrance system. So this has got what's called Lowrance Outboard Pilot. So you have autopilot basically for your, for your boat. It's going to steer the main hydraulic system, which steers all three motors, but it's very effective on this size of a boat. And it's not that expensive. So it's a pretty nice system. If you ever do want to check it out, get a hold of us. So working our way now into the cabin here. He did a very basic galley. He just wanted this to be real basic. So we got storage below, big storage cabinets with shelves, a couple more storage cubbies there. He just did a basic sink. Uh, he didn't do uh, a stove or a fridge in this boat. Short bench seat right here storage underneath you can access the storage from the top or you can open this lid if somebody wants to do it that way also on the back here same thing on this big top storage and then access again below on this cabinet and it's lockable storage underneath there on that step area and then he did a um, dinette to bed conversion on this boat so there's a filler piece and this will convert to a regular bed inside of here, which is a pretty slick setup, but that's getting to be more and more popular. He did a curtain package. It's hard to see, look in this direction, there you go, kind of see, there's curtains that fold down if he's got this moored somewhere and he wants privacy. Um, kind of look at the instrument panel, Lawrence. He, he went with a fairly 
straightforward, just an HDS9 and HDS7 in the back, but he's got really good control with this. Uh, we did a diesel heater in this. The uh, cutting portion for sleeping, we got uh, power up there. He did shore power in this boat, curtain package, and then lots of storage. There's storage underneath all of these right here. Working our way to the back, we got grab handles. This is really nice if you're in rough water and somebody wants to stand and hold on to this, it really does help. And then full bathroom here. Uh, and we still have freezing weather, so we haven't uh, dewinterized the toilet yet. It does have a pump out and a flush on it too, and a curtain package on this. So it turned out really nice. If you guys have any questions on these boats, please give us a call. Thank you for your time today. Thank you for watching.